Hello, everybody. Oh, there's one or more. Oh, there's two. E. E. People who don't watch this won't have a bloody clue if they're just getting on at first time. Um, that is the Geordie Om sound that any mother makes from Tyneside. All the best. I'm really enjoying people turning up and putting E in the comments. That's it's a big thing. I'll just move this bloody thing. I uh, am um, <laughs> bad news or good news. I don't know. Um, I'm utterly constipated and have been since Friday, right? And I'm not joking. I've literally had it before this show because I don't know. I'm so close to getting rid of it, right? But I don't know. So I've been, like literally had me like <laughs> <laughs> I've had my legs up, man, on a chair in front of the bog. Because people know this, right? Like, it's an unnatural seating position on the armitage. We're meant to squat. And so I've tried to, like, do the squatting thing over the armitage. And it was so close. It was so close. And then it went back up. Oh, man, it's like this hard rod. And the, the nightmare is, right, my partner's away. She's got the car. If I was to walk to the shop, I honestly think I might have a shit because I've just had to abort a dog walk. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing earlier. This has been hell. Absolutely awful for two days. Um, but I just thought, sorry, I've just got to get the show going. Because, like, so my point is, right, at any point during this show, I might have to just dead it and just do one. And I hope I get to, like, turn the stream off. <laughs> <laughs> like because seriously man it could happen but i have to get this done because i got other things to do this afternoon and i don't even know if i'm gonna get them done and i'm feeling rough i'm laughing now right but i'm like see that day bed behind you there the reason it's all rumpled up is because i've just been fetal position on it going oh toilet or show show or toilet it's absolute grim grim occasion in my life this but I tell you what isn't the community tab on youtube.com forward slash cow daily. There you will find our written work polls and just general banter. And hopefully we're going to move it away from Facebook because it helps the algorithm in YouTube, just like it does on Facebook, but Facebook ain't paying us. YouTube will if we get that it monetized. So if you could go and move your words and crack over to youtube.com forward slash cow daily, that would be top. And also please subscribe while you're there. Also, if you want to directly support my work, patreon.com forward slash cow daily. That's patreon.com forward slash cow daily. Links in the description for one off donations for PayPal. Thanks to everybody doing the do, helping, comments, what we got. Um, so he's saying, watch how he then, haha, the squat doesn't always work. It didn't, but. It got right to the end for the first time in two days to the point where I thought oh, I need a wipe here. Like it was a slight bit on the wipe. So, mm, yeah. Jacqueline is saying explosive fat flatulence. I wish because explosive would mean an expulsion of this long knobbly witch's broom handle. Oh, God, it's just horrible. It's awful. So I kind of get to a shop because my partner's away. Right. So I'm kind of stuck here. So um, what I've got here, you might notice there's like two tags in the, on the on there. I've got ginger and lemon balm in because I had a look at what I've got in the house. And apparently those two things will help. So bottoms up, everybody. Hopefully, literally, after the show. It's a mare, man. It's just like it's Joanne saying drink more. What? Sulfuric acid? <laughs> Because honestly, at this point, I would, but I assume you mean water, mate. I'd literally drink three four, to four liters a day because of the amount of training I'm doing. Even the training's not shifting it, man. Like, the problem is, I can't like find any sugar free, gluten free muesli, right? And I know that's a specific thing, right? But I just can't find anywhere I am. And it's like obviously having an impact. Um, and my partner took the, the psyllium host tablets away. So I'm sitting here. It's her fault, really. Let's just blame her. It's your fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault for just eating out of the air fryer while you are away. <laughs> I've literally, right, I, I promise you I can look after myself. I can cook well. I can do all this. Couldn't be asked. It was just like, what, five minutes gone? I did that thing, Keir Starmer hates. Like, where the cat's away, uh, anti-Keir Starmer faction plays. Air fryer, massive smoke. 
but what I do, which other stoners maybe don't do, I did like 20 kilometers um, each day, da, da 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 And that's still not working. It's not shifting it. I mean, what more would kind of man do here? It's it's a bad time. Um, honestly, felt like passing out from this before. It's weird, isn't it? Isn't it a weird thing? Uh, stress is a wonderful thing. True story, Bob. Uh, have you got celiac? I haven't. Uh, I've got gluten intolerance, which is the one below it. So I eat a gluten-free diet. So ostensibly, I eat like a celiac person. But if I was to, um, say, drink a can of Heineken, which is under 20 parts per million, I can drink eight, nine, ten of them. Um, but if I was to drink, uh, but if a celiac person was to drink um, like, like even one of them, some of them it could be hospitalized. So I wouldn't be hospitalized. Um, Shazbot73, big up Shazbot. I've seen you before. Lactolose softens the who honestly try it. Is it? Is, do you mean lactose, like from milk and stuff? Because I don't actually get much of that in my diet either. Maybe it's a bit from cheese. But I drink um, soya milk. I'm sure I'm one of them soy boys, isn't that? Tell you what, if one of them just come and cause a soy boy to my face, I'll hit you with me milk. That's what I'll do for a laugh. Graham Neal, nice to see you here, brother. Live witches broom handle expulsion novel approach to monsters monetizing the channel. <laughs> I, do you know what it is? Like, I could honestly run a cable not a brown one a literal cable from here through to the bog and should we do a live webcam on, on nah i'll go and drop some like lay some cables in that lasagne is saying no it's a medicine lactulose mate i would but i kind of get to a shop because my partner's away with the car and if i was to walk or run there i think i might shit myself on the way which would kind of be a good thing but a really bad thing for me Standard in the local community. <laughs> Jacqueline saying, all my sisters have celiac except for me. My children stand as much chance of getting it as my sister's children. Mad, that, isn't it? Like, really is mad. Um, Joanne saying, join the Sawyer Club. I don't have a poo problem. Sawyer for the win. Um, I just don't, don't like cow's milk, strangely enough, get, Like, which is mad considering this is like milk the cow. Like, Right, I'm just going to say this, and if like uh, this happens regularly, right? Vegans come on the page, or they come, like, e I've had emails going, you need to change the name of the podcast. I mean, the things that you say are, like, great and all that, but milk the cow, it's, like, so meaty and, like, all of this shit, you know? I'm like, nobody really knows, like, where the name came from. It was, like, Wednesday afternoon sessions during the rave in the 90s. Uh, came from that where we'd just get wrecked and get the decks out so nobody really knows what it, it's about i think it was like a dance or something like that listen man like i'm it's just uh, like constantly and i'm just like what the fuck are these people on about it was somebody for like who manages one of those like um vegan charities in the town a while ago and she was like giving it big ones as well and i'm like dude man we're literally allies <laughs> but like anyway that's people in it what are you gonna do tell you what we'll start oh, here's protect the cow protect me protect me i am i am to be protected graham neil milk the bean fucking flick the uh, listen honestly i'd grow and flick a bean at this point if uh i was gonna get the shite at me back eye anyway we've done nine minutes on poo i appreciate you you are loving that but Please help the monetize channel, youtube.com forward slash cow daily. Subscribe. Anyway, let's start with some hope, man, because like we've got uh, some other stuff, which is kind of hopeful, but also some other things. This might not seem like hope to you, but it is to me, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But anyway, from Stats for Lefties via Omnisius, um, this is a poll. Rishi Sunak, 37% pulls ahead in best prime minister polling. That's plus five. Keir Starmer, 34%, minus two, and the other 3% went to don't knows. Why this is hopeful for me is, right, like Labour are blatantly just another aspect of the establishment. If you watch this a lot, you will then, you will know that they're a right-wing party, certain things are far right, like the whole stop the boats thing. Um, they're certainly not like of the people, they're certainly not reflective of who we are, and they can get in the fucking bin, quite honestly. Um, so I'm really heartened to see that, and there's a, a host of reasons why. People doing this whole get the Tories out thing, it's just like mentally like 
Like, what are you thinking? Other than uh, all I can think is this. You are lazy. You don't want to do the heavy lifting required to realize that the Labour Party will probably help you. Like, because this is the other aspect of it. If you're middle class, you're good. They're going to get the status quo back for you. But the the widening between everybody in poverty and you is going to get bigger. So if you're comfortable with that and you can afford it, vote Labour. But we know what you are and we, we've known what you are. But it's, you know, in the, the most recent times, it's really, really clear what you are. Um, you never really cared about us, did you? And I'm I'm buzzing because it's so incontrovertible and it's so clear what these people are now that we don't have to be the friends or pretend that, like, you know, like, we're the same. We're not. We're fucking enemies. And that's really good. You Like, because why, why, why would you want to be in anything with your enemies? It makes no sense. Like, we can actually do stuff now. It's liberating. So, like, they, they've been given it the whole, like, oh, yeah, well, we're just going to, like... We're just going to like kind of win anyway. So, like, let's attack the left. I mean, you know what they're going to do? They're going to blame us, the left, because the Labour Party aren't the left, they're right wing. They're going to blame us for not voting for them after they've like spent years and years smearing us, calling us worse than shite, la, fucking la. Eat it. Starmer's doing great, isn't he, Ted? <laughs> what he needs, right, is obviously more flags. And like, what, what, he, what he should do, because his focus groups will tell him, is do the whole face paint thing it's just they're giving more flags because that's like what what they're saying this fictional red wall needs more flags pour flags in get get epstein's mate mandelson to, to sort the flags out for you listen the fact that epstein's mate is starmer's main advisor and you are calling us tory enablers is mad mad <laughs> did you see how many times he knocked about with them that we know about and yet he's been brought in to your party <laughs> and we're the bad people <laughs> shut your fucking face man honestly if you're in any way connected to the Labour Party or you want to vote for them was it not enough Mandelson like because I tell you fucking what I, I'm privy to all these WhatsApp groups for people who would never vote Labour and have their mind melted by right-wing billionaires, right? And they really, really care about that, as they should. As they should. So why don't you? Because you look like a fucking mug. So anyway, what else? What else we got? Please bring more flags and wrap them round you, Kia. Please do that so you can lose your poll lead even more because the people who you're trying to court for votes fucking hate you and so do we and everybody and you're a fucking dial. Anyway, a bit more hope. The fucking fact remains, right? Let's read this first. Adam F. Grant, confirmation bias is twisting the facts to fit your beliefs. Critical thinking is bending your beliefs to fit the facts. Seeking the truth is not about validating the story in your head. It's about rigorously vetting and accepting the story that matches the reality in the world. This is the reality. Votes won by Labour leader. 2005, Tony Blair, 9,552,436. 2010, Gordon Brown, 8,609, 527. 2015, Ed Miliband, 9,347 to 2073. Point for bringing this up, right? After that, Corbyn, I'll read them out in a minute. 2005, Blair. 2010, Gordon Brown. Absolutely shite, right? Gordon Brown got 8.6 million, right? In 2019, after years, years of a scurrilous smear campaign towards Corbyn, he still got 10.295 million. 2017, Bef like there was a, there was a huge smear campaign, but it didn't go like full on full bore industrial revolution until the the election after because 2017 twelve point eight seven eight million. Right, what's the, what's my point here? The door is wide, wide open, wide open, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a new party. I, I said recently, right? I don't think they're perfect. The Greens certainly not in England and Wales, but. 
we can vote for them. We can vote for people like Tusk, independent, left-wing candidates of the people. I'd love a new party. I'm going to come on to a little bit about peace and justice in a bit, but that's where we're at, and I think that's mad hopeful. Um, if we get, if we just get rid of all the noise, right, all these detractors, you know, the dafties who like are allergic to council estates but crack on like they're progressive, generally have a Ukraine flag, but it's strangely disappeared recently. Well, why? Mm-hmm. Why has that gone? Ben shouts to Limmy. So you some comments. What is Gandun? Yvonne's in. Nice to see you, pal. I hope you got your Facebook page back. We need your voice. Reform UK guy trying to recruit people saying both parties are socialists. They are socialists for the ultra-rich, but not what this guy meant, I am sure. Have you got a link? I'd love to see more. Jacqueline is saying, if Labour want to stand any chance of not being a complete disaster at the next GE, despite how bad the Tories are, they're going to have to get rid of Starmer as leader. To be honest with you, Jacqueline, I don't they care who they put in. They could put Keir Hardy's ghost in, and I'd still shit all over them because it would still have all these others in. It's not just about one person. The whole lot of the, the people running that party now are scumbags. I'm having nothing to do with them. They're enemies. Let's call them what they are. And let's just like, without, I, I don't like doing the whole pick a side thing, but pick a fucking side. I mean, it couldn't be any clearer in it. Like, that's not towards you, Jacqueline. I'm just talking to the world when I say that. Um, simple as that. It's like, we're going to have to get to a point where we're going to have to stop being so fucking immature and like lazy, because that's what it is. It's like laziness and it's immaturity. And peop- some people do it like more in a more sophisticated way. Some people are like, just go the Tories out. Eh! One of the two. The top bottom of it is, you're going to have to fight eventually. So it's like, you might as well just do it now. Literally, I'm telling you, right? When I first started talking about this, the shit I got off people for this and Starmer, more and more and more people. And this is a hard thing to do for people. I'll get in touch and go, now you're right. Completely right. I was wrong. It was exactly as you said at the time, like when it was time to vote for a new leader, we were tired. Um, We just thought, we just believed he's shit. So if I'm being told that, within the context of most people not being able to admit that wrong, and that's happening all the time, what do you think that that is actually happening out there? It's ripe for putting the truth out there, and it's ripe for people like turn, turning their heads on and realizing about the Labour Party. Now, this next election, didn't worry about it, man. We'll just keep building. It's a mid long term thing, this. We got smashed to bits by a huge smear campaign. But here's the other good news, right? The majority of people doing that without all of this like billionaire money behind them are thick as fuck. We're the ones with the ingenuity and the ideas. And people see that, man. So be hopeful, man. I'm buzzing, even though I'm sitting here with a massive witch's broom handle up my ass, and maybe it's just not coming out today. But that's all right, because there's lots to be hopeful for, and it will eventually. <laughs> so anyway, what else do we have for ye? Let's do a bit on COVID, shall we? Um, I mentioned something last week, and it was on COVID filtration. Two seconds, I'm just taking a um, swig of this broth, which hopefully evacuates the dance floor up there, you know? Two seconds. Evacuado. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, South Korea government funds mandatory air purifiers at schools. The South Korean government are oh, mint. Well, I don't know about everything else. Anyway, uh, Mr. McMe says it's clear to anyone that knows what's going on with this virus that the only chance humanity has to mitigate its spread is to use the immutable laws of physics and aerodynamics. You're not going to find it in pharmaceutical intervention alone as long as humans need oxygen. This is a complete point and a half. We need to attack it on every level that we possibly can. Given that what gov- governments here are like, well, certainly in the UK, are completely throwing us to the wolves. And we talked about last week how in Andalusia on the public bus system, the, they've put filters in. There wasn't a campaign to do it. They just looked at the, the, the facts, got rational and did it. We need to do it too. Um, simply because I see this all the time and people are going to hate me for this, but people hate me anyways. Fuck it, right? If you've got bands right? Children for non geordies or jocks. Then <laughs> I do not understand why you don't want like filters in schools. 
because it might save their life. It might stop them getting long COVID. It might stop them, as we've seen last week, due to new Stanford research that's been published. Oh, God, I might need to go poo. Uh, we'll keep doing it. We'll power on. You might see with the Stanford research that, like, repeat infections is akin to the effect HIV has on your immune system. So that's airborne. That's through droplets. That's happening all around where the South Korean government have, have took action. The Andalusian junta have took action. We'll see in a minute, like also in places much worse than this, the UK in Illinois, they're doing it there too. So I'll talk about South Korea first. South Korea funds mandatory air purifiers at schools. The South Korean government on Tuesday passed a revised school health act to improve quality of air and safety at preschools, primary and secondary schools. This is from the Korea Herald, just putting that, this up here, just so you see my sources. Uh, it goes on, the revised law requires installation of air cleaning systems and air quality sensors in classrooms and allows the use of state funds to cover the costs. School counselors and parents of students are also permitted to attend classroom air quality monitoring sessions, which will be conducted each semester. Right, anyway, we'll come back more of that in a minute, but the point of this is, right, look, we know that like the people in the UK who uh, have power and whatever are pretty much psychopaths. So they don't care about our health. Like, let's just work on the basis of what we've got. Let's be rational, right? So um, what rationally can we do to make them sign this into law? Listen, South Korea, when they do this, the instances of COVID because of good HEPA filters in public buildings and um, the filters get rid of some just over 99 percent of all viruses including covid right they're relatively cheap to install going forward the south korean economy is going to get more investment because it's going to have less absence less sickness um less people like long-term sick less death you've seen in the, in the uk at the moment how like people are, are saying we've got an agent population blah 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 so my point overall, overall is we can do this. This is a win we can make. People are thinking about oh, the, the election and all of that. Listen, people are dying now, and we have to do something about this now. And I'm challenging you to contact us, and we'll, we'll, we'll do this ourselves. Nobody's coming to save us. So anyway, it goes on the South Korea Herald. Deputy Prime Minister and Education Minister Yu Yan Hai unveiled a plan on March the 12th to cooperate with the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy and other related ministries to develop an air purifier optimized for schools. So not only are they putting stuff in, they're also getting the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy to develop something which is optimized for the school environment. This is rational. There's nothing radical about this, right? We need to stop taking on like our opposition's terminology that which is labeled on us none of this is radical we're not the radicals we're the rationalists south korean government seem to agree so also this swiss study um this was from swiss medical week the effectiveness of different interventions aimed at improving ventilation and reducing the risk of sars cov2 airborne transmission in a typical classroom so the swiss study examined the effectiveness of effectiveness of air filters that reduced covid transmission in a typical classroom one HEPA filter was as effective as two windows partly open all day in winter, three-fold decrease. Two HEPA filters led to a five-fold decrease. So there you go. The results are in. For relatively cheaply, we can save lives. But the, the sociopaths who run things don't care. For relatively cheaply, we can stop the economy tanking while other countries around the world don't get hit as hard because they were proactive. So we're talking in and Andalusia, the autonomous region in Spain and the south. We're talking in South Korea. We're also talking in the home of libertarianism. That's right. It is indeed. Oh, hold on. There's one first. Yeah. Anyway, long COVID SOS says here. HEPA filters remove at least 99.97% of dust, pollen, mold, bacteria, and any airborne particles with a size of 0.3 microns. The picture here, this bartender can safely remove her N95 or FFP2 mask, about the same. Um, and I mentioned this last week when I was on a bus in Andalusia. I did wear my mask because I felt more comfortable doing it. But over time, 
Um, now that I'm learned about like all of this, I might decide to take it off. I want a world where like we don't have to wear them. You know, or we'll wear them much less. I'm sick and tired of wearing the fucker. I feel like this is the problem with like absolute idiots who are like noised up by right wing billionaires, right? Like they get on our social media and they're oh, look, you man, weak and soft wearing your mask. You know, it's weak and soft. Parrot and the bullshit that comes out of like whatever wild imaginings, like right wing billionaires who don't want society to um to to stop with lockdowns. The short termists and their balance sheets were tanking. So look into the people who like a great example of this is right the chancellor Jeremy Hunt. He's a he's a huge commercial landlord. Look into him. He's the worst person possible to be in that role right now in terms of any of this. But Here's the thing. Our loved ones will get seriously done in or or potentially die because of repeat infections. It's Stanford have shown that repeat infections is akin to the damage done by HIV. Why isn't this on the front page everywhere? Well, bit of a rhetorical question, really, because that would mean governments would actually have to do something. Some are brilliant. Some are like ours who are just absolute arseholes and the opposition just going along with it. What we need to be doing is getting in touch with the unions. Contact us if you want. Like anybody, like I really believe that this is something we can do which is going to like improve things. I mean, I'm bothered about like um, people not getting ill. Like if this is your first time here, I got like early doors infected with COVID and triggered shingles because it done my immune system in. So I'm, I know, I know this. I was done in for a year and I'm still not 100%. And I might never be. But I tell you fucking what, I'm not going out without a fight. I'm just fucking sick and tired of these fucking dafties. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I, I really hope you are too. But there's the time for just like sitting and, and just going, ooh, this is horrible. It's just fucking over, man. Like, I don't, I'm not just going to give up my wicked and die. Like, <laughs> that's wild to me. Like, all you know, all these people who are giving an artist me and the kids now, who and they're all snakes and that. Like, do you really care about your kids? I don't care if this like loses listeners or viewers or whatever the fuck. I don't, I'm not necessarily doing it for that, but it's nice to see it grown. Do you care though? Because it seems fucking performative to me that, especially, especially. People who've got young kids aren't screaming about this from the, the rafters. What the fuck is wrong with people, man? Like, I swear to you, I'm doing this and I don't have bends. I'm doing this because, like, I mean, it's rational. But what are you going to do? Anyway, right, there was another item to do, but I think I'm, like, chancing my arm, right, if I don't go at the comments and then bring the show to an end because... <laughs> for reasons given at the start of the show to do a knobbly witch's broom handles um chancing my arm going beyond much half an hour here i think anyway we'll take some comments do 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 jenny shram in the house my kids have had illness after illness for months now this is interesting i've been wondering about their immune system for a while now giving them daily vitamins and manuka honey good on you mate um honestly throw as much nutrition as the as you can um like bolster their immune system. There's a lot to be said for that. I mean, I'm taking all kinds of like vitamins and whatever. Maybe I can see them on the behind us on the table. Uh, hold on. There, there. <laughs> I'm taking lactobacillus acidophilus for my stomach, and I am taking it dead multi bits as well. Just one a day in it. But uh, I do that. Give your kids as much like as you can. But more to the point, let us get seriously. I said this last week, and I'm doing it again. One person inboxed us, right? We need more. Inboxes will get wrapped around this, and we'll link with the other campaigns like Long COVID Kids and all that, and we'll contact our MPs. We'll fucking do it all. Contact a school. Do it on a, on a local level. Contact the school. Like, contact your union. Speak to your workplace. The unions should be on this, on workplace health and safety. And I cannot believe they haven't come out with, like, what's going on? So let's let's bloody see, shall we? It's going to come from us contacting them and absolutely giving them it. So give them it, man. So 
Right, Chaz Bot saying UK won't do it because they want people to die before they have to pay their pensions. Well, this is the problem, isn't it? Um, Je- typical Tory zero foresight, says Jenny. Um, Kev B, I take massive dose of Vit D. I take vitamin D as well. It's in in those there, um, but didn't take like loads and loads of it, man. It's not like like really good for you to take massive doses, man. Um, just take like at first, I'm, I like I, I take like double the dose. Uh, recommended for two weeks and then drop it 100% after that. It's actually like diminishing returns after that, dude. So watch what you're doing, I. Um, Shazbat, I hope vitamin D is in there. Defo, gotta be. Bob Grady, donutting like no that. Pah, like a charba, donut on your tongue and that. Joanne did messages, you're right. You were, you were that one person. So honestly, man, like please get in touch and we'll do something about this because... Listen, I'm sitting here waiting to snap this key off in the in the back eye lock, and I'm still, still up for this. So anyway, tomorrow we'll do the second item, anti antisocial behaviour and something else. Um, I just honestly think this is something we can win. There's really there's just a load of examples of why we can win around the world and we can win on an economic case as well as a public health one, which is good because the people up top, Labour, Tories, all that, they don't give a shit about us. Who what's what's saying here? Go and sort your turtles heed. I will. Zoe Tortles Heed. That's actually a tortoise, actually. Yeah. I know. I know the guy who designed every emoji ever. How dare you? <laughs> no, seriously, that's a bad and I'm having a bad one with this. Like two seconds, I need a drink of this. Anyway, let's not all die. Let's not have all our loved ones die. Let's stop just sitting here lying down and taking it and just expecting this to change. The political class, even the ones were like fucking psychopaths, right? We're not. We don't want to die. There's millions of other people in positions of power below them who, who don't want to die. It's only ever been committed. Groups of small people have ever brought about meaningful change. We are those people. Right, there's there's the snarf end of Thundercats bit. If you want to support my work, go to patrun.com forward slash cow daily. I'm blatantly leaving the total seed from Zoe up, up on the screen as the as as the end titles come. Uh, also, link in the description, PayPal, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Thanks for all the subscriptions and that, which help me go up. We're starting to get back from being having that two months break that we didn't need starting to get our rightful position back near the top of the chart so please support and share and do all that cool shit and know you're appreciated right i'm gonna go and stick my feet up on that seat in the bog no no word of a lie and see if i can force this thing out because this is a fucking bad time peace in the middle east